Hello lovely people, welcome to the kitchen today. But my head is a bit confused, so if I start talking rubbish during this video, don't mind me. I'll get back on track, I promise. We're gonna be making shepherd's pie today. Shepherd's pie is a traditional English dish. I realize that depending on where you're from, um, you distinguish between uh, shepherd's pie being with lamb, min minced lamb, and any, any other meat being called cottage pie. Apart from that, some people call whatever meat it is cottage pie, and depending on where you're from, you might call whatever meat it is shepherd's pie. I belong to the latter group, so whatever meat it is, I just call it shepherd's pie. So, disclaimer, I know that some people differentiate between uh, shepherd's pie and cottage pie, and I am using beef, so for some people it might not be shepherd's, it might be cottage pie, not shepherd's pie, but I'm just gonna be saying shepherd's pie. I hope you can live with that. Let's get cracking. I found a really old handwritten recipe and it does not say the measurements. It also does not say how long it goes in the oven for. And I have not made this for years. I'm sure I haven't made it for at least 10 years. So we're just gonna to have to guess. So let's go. Let's see how this is gonna go. However, begin with uh, cutting up some onions and frying them in butter. I've got a bigger one and a slightly smaller one. It should do. I don't have any measurements. I'm just gonna just gonna roll with it. We love rolling with it here, don't we? Just melt the butter in the frying pan. It's getting a bit cold with this sweater on. Have I mentioned that my favourite sweater is our new team wear from, from our dance school? <laughs> our logo and Everybody's got their name on the front. And this is, by the way, this is our dance teacher, by the way. I'm not gonna film myself cutting onions. I guess you know how that works. So I'm making, um, shep oh, the onions. Oh my goodness. So I'm making shepherd's pie for dinner and dessert will be apple crumble. However, I will put those into two separate videos because I fear all in one week will just be too long. My eyes are really, really sensitive to, to onions. Like, I'm fine with putting my hands in hot water, where other people are like, ah, I can't touch it, it's too hot, I'm fine with that. But onions? Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> Which episode of Friends is it where Joey goes, my eyes, my eyes? Is it, is it Joey? Fry onions in butter. Question is, until when? Until they're tender, until they're golden, until they're brown? Just guessing my way through it here. Right, what am I doing next? Um. Ah, minced meat goes in in a minute. And it says, let that cook for 20 minutes. Okay, we're gonna need stock, vegetable stock. How much? I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, let me just prepare a jug full of vegetable stock. Let's just go with half a litre and see if that does the trick. Carrots. Again, I don't know how many. I'm gonna go with two. I'm honestly just eyeballing it and getting my way through here. I think the meat can go in now. So this is what we're working with. And in we pop the meat. Is that too many onions? I don't know. Meat, meat's in the frying pan with the onion and butter. Um, it does say in my recipe, I barely have any instructions. It does say, um, to fry that for about 25 to 30 minutes. Now, I do not have that time. I'm trying to speed the process up a bit. So I'm gonna go with 15 to 20 minutes, but I did sort of turn up the heat, the heat a notch. So let's see if that works out. Crossing fingers. Now making the mashed potatoes out, I go on top using three large potatoes. <gasps> I just put salt all over the floor. Let me show you how it's going. Okay, so potatoes are about to boil to the muffin notch. And this is what the meat looks like at the moment. Actually, I think I might put the stock and the carrots in already. And here we go. Yep, this is almost ready to go into the dish, I would say, into the oven. I can even pop the 
lid on that one. Oh, silence. <laughs> and the potatoes are nearly ready as well. Right, potatoes are ready. I'm now going to drain them and make the mash. Really basic. Drain the potatoes, mash them, milk, salt, butter, that's it. Let's mash those potatoes. I would definitely say we are at oh yeah, we're absolutely ready to put this into the oven. Now we put the mashed potatoes on top. There's a good part. Right. Pop some butter on top of the mashed potatoes. This is what it looks like now, and this goes in the oven. I'd say for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes or something until the mashed potatoes are slightly browned. Bye bye. Shepherd's pie is done. I'm gonna get it out of the oven now. However, I'm gonna need the oven mitts, so I can't film while I'm doing that. And it's gonna be so hot. So I'll be with you in a sec. Well, I'll be with you again in a second. Look at that. Oh, isn't it a beauty? That is exactly what it should look like. Ta-da! I've made one for ages, I'm so proud of it. <laughs> this is gonna be hot, 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 hot. But delicious. Well, it looks a little bit messy on the plate. It's not like it's a pretty slice of shepherd's pie, what you might have expected. However, it's the taste that matters, so let's go. I'm honestly scared about if that was in the oven at 220 degrees. I'm gonna be extra careful here. Absolutely glorious. This is delicious. 10 out of 10. Look at the heat. <laughs> Look at that. I have my own fog machine here. Mm. Yummy. <gasps> I haven't had shepherd's pie in years. This is so fun. I'm gonna sit down and eat now because this was delicious. I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Copy this recipe. Go on, give yourself, if you've never had shepherd's pie before, go for it. If you like hearty meal, home cooked hearty meals and sort of mint, and you're not vegetarian or vegan, um, then go for it. This is absolutely delicious. I, I can wholeheartedly recommend. <laughs> I've got this happy face. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you do cook this, I hope you enjoy shepherd's pie too. Shepherd's pie, cottage pie, whatever you call it, where you're from. And like if you enjoyed, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you enjoyed, and hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy.